Hey everybody, what's up? Just out running a few errands with Elijah today and I'm gonna take the time to sort of introduce you guys to a little new project I've got going on here with the channel. Um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna spread it out a little bit over, over the course of some time, but I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna I'm gonna go to every state that I've ever fished in and sort of tell you what my favorite lake is and my least favorite lake in that state. And uh, there's a bunch of states here. I mean, I'm guessing that I probably, man, I probably fished in, you know, close to 40 states around the country. So there's gonna be a lot of info here. So um, anyway, I thought it might be a little interesting. You can, you can get some feedback going. Get guys can give me your opinion on, you know, what you think my choices are, what you think about them, and what your guys' are. But Anyway, we're, gonna, we're sort of going to go in alphabetical order, start out, and um, so today what we're going to do is Alabama, talk about Alabama fisheries. And you know, Alabama is like, you know, one of the most famous bass fishing lakes in, in the state. I mean, there's a lot of good lakes down there. There have been a lot of big tournaments down there. There's probably been more Bassmasters Classics and Forestwood Cups uh, in Alabama than about anywhere around. So uh, it's, it's definitely got some notoriety to it. But anyway, I'll start out with my uh, favorite lake in Alabama and sort of tell you why. And when I talk about my least favorite lakes, I'm not talking about just in terms of the quality of fishing. I'm talking, that's one aspect of it, but there's, there's different categories to it. You know, it's the quality of fishing, it's the aesthetics of the lake, it's how pleasurable the lake is to fish. Um, and it's sort of just in my opinion, how cool the lake is. So my, my favorite place to fish in Alabama is uh, the Mobile Delta in Alabama. Mobile Delta is a fairly tough fishery, um, but the, one, the reason I like it is, you know, it, it fishes giant. I mean, it just fishes so huge. There's so much water down there. It's a, a super, di super diverse fishery. And I, for some reason, I'm pretty in tune with that. You know, I won a Bassmaster Top 150 on the Mobile Delta. I actually won the Ranger M1 tournament there if it had been total weight, but I finished second in that tournament there because it was a cut, but I would have, would have won it by 10 pounds if it had been a total weight deal. So I really like the way it fishes. It, it sort of suits my style. But the cool thing about the Delta is you have a mix of, of brackish water, fresh water, you've got marshes, you've got river systems, you've got uh, you know just tons and tons of diversity in shallow water cover. and that's the thing about the Delta. It's a super, super complex place to fish. You've got the tide fluence to consider. You know, you got the determination of what type of cover to fish. Do you want to stay in the marsh areas? Do you want to run in the river sections and fish current a little bit? So there's just a lot going on to it. A lot of creeks off the main river. And also, I mean, if you want to, you can run out into the Gulf of Mexico and you can run down the coast and go up into the Pascagoula River. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do there. So um, I don't know if you guys have never fished that place. It's it's one of the most unique fisheries I've ever fished, and one of my favorite types of cover to fish is cypress trees. And uh, the Mobile Delta has lots of cypress in it, lots of reeds in it, lots of wood in it. So anyway, Mobile Delta is my favorite one for sure. My least favorite lake in the state of Alabama, which probably will come to surprise to some and maybe not to other, is Lake Gunnersville. Lake Gunnersville, in my opinion, is one of the most, it's, I'm not saying it's overrated, but it's, it is, it has got, it's got a notoriety to it that a lot of times it doesn't live up to, but just at certain times of the year. And the reason that Lake Gunnersville is my least favorite place to fish in the state of Alabama is simply because of the fishing pressure on the lake. The fishing pressure is something we deal with all over the country. But on Gunnersville, it's relentless. It's relentless, and I've never been to a body of water before where the local, there's so many local anglers that maybe don't fish tournaments that they don't have any regard whatsoever if you're fishing tournaments there. It doesn't matter if you're leading the tournament or whatever. I've never seen a lake like Lake Gunnersville where so many of the anglers, uh, you know, just, you know, they feel that is just completely irrelevant. And I'm not saying that, uh, you know, the tournament anglers are any better than anybody else and that they should, given, they should be given priority on the lake. All I'm talking about is just, it, just you know, do the right thing and be cool. Put yourself in somebody's position. If you had a chance to win $100,000, wouldn't you want to be able to fish the area that you're fishing, you know, undisturbed to try to win that? So it's, 
it's sort of a matter of empathy when it comes to that versus you know any type of a, of a you know feeling of, of entitlement as far as being a tournament angler. But you know Gunnersville, like I said, at times it can be a great lake. Um, you're no, you're normally always fishing around a group of people. Gunnersville is one of those places that it doesn't matter if you're fishing riprap or bridge piers or grass flats. If you're not fishing around somebody else, you're normally not in that great of an area, sort of like Florida. So most of the time when you're fishing at Gunnersville, you're fishing around a group of people. And uh, you know I just I really don't care for that you know too much. But Gunnersville is another one of those lakes that you know there's uh, there's a lot of quality fish in it, three to five pound bass. But uh, you know for the amount of fishing pressure that, that the lake gets, I just don't find it enjoyable to fish there at all. I mean I'd, I'd much rather be in the seclusion of the of the pristine waters of the Mobile Delta, you know, catching two pounders, than I would be catching four pounders in a hectic, stressful rat race uh, at Lake Gunnersville. So anyway, there's, like I said, Alabama's got lots of great lakes in there. Those are just two that come to my mind. There's, you know, the state's full of good water in there. Uh, one thing about fishing Alabama, not just like Lake Gunnersville, but anywhere in the state, the lake gets a lot of pressure and it, got, it gets a lot of pressure from, um, you know, hardcore tournament anglers. And I'd probably rate Alabama and Missouri as the two top lakes in the United States that and you know possibly and you know and I'll include Grand Lake in that northeast Ar Ar northeast Oklahoma as the lakes that get the most intense high level fishing pressure there's a big difference between a body of water that gets a lot of fishing pressure from like weekend dudes and recreational people and lakes that get a lot of tournament grade fishing pressure there's a big difference in that so anyway that's my two pick favorite lake in Alabama is Mobile Delta. Awesome place to fish. If you've never had a chance to fish down there, I'd suggest going down there. It's just a beautiful body watered fish. And my least favorite place to fish is Lake Gunnersville. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, if we didn't have another tournament on Lake Gunnersville, I'd, that'd be fine with me because uh, I just, uh, I, I like a little bit more peace and quiet on my time on the water. So anyway, let me hear what you guys think, man. What's what's your guys' favorite lake? There's a lot of good ones. You got Smith Lake, you got Logan Martin, you got Neely Henry, you got Lay Lake, you got Lake Jordan, you know, a bunch of good lakes down there. Lake Martin, you know, I'd be curious to hear, you know, what everybody else thinks is uh, good lakes and not so good lakes in Alabama. But anyway, that's today's uh, uh, re or today's uh, review of my favorite lakes in Alabama. And next one, we'll go to the next one down on the list alphabetically and then until we get down to the last uh, state that we're going to cover. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. Talk to you later. See you.